Not anymore. Uh, I, I also have a sub stack as well. Uh, I probably will start posting there. I've been wanting to write some articles. Don't know when I'm going to do that. Look uh, at Mike piggybacking off my big I, announcement. Yeah, <laughs> it's part of the two minutes report. <laughs> I wrote my first article. It's very, you know, it's a spicy topic. <laughs> nice. So, yeah, I think you all should check it out and read it. It's a pretty short read. <laughs> but... Yeah, I will be posting that. <laughs> I'm gonna subscribe. This you should have paywalled first... that. That would have been that's hilarious good. if you yeah. paywalled. <laughs> you should have paywalled that. Oh, that's a good bit. Oh, I mean, I... you got 13 <laughs> likes on that though. That's insane for that. Like, <laughs> well, and I worked really hard on it to be honest. So I had to think it's long really and hard. It's probably, it's probably the best, the best takedown of this topic I've seen so far. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. I gotta, so, I gotta leave the left, man. I gotta leave the left because I need what the what, money is what insane. You, yes, the money there. I need that money. Um, you gotta be so, right, though. You can't, you can't just do it and become an activist and try to do real like change in the world. You gotta go talk to Prager and get the coke money and get yeah. get your own studio and all that kind of shit. Right. The Rumble right. money is well, really where it's at. It seems like. Look at that studio that Glenn Greenwald has. Did you see that shit? That's true. He's got a does lot he have of one all over the place. Uh, yeah, well, I mean, like, I think he made it like two years ago or something. Right. It's definitely, oh, I've seen that, it's definitely yeah. a big budget. Yeah. It's, it like, looks he has like the lair I blocked him on Twitter like two years ago. In the so 90s movie. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's, yeah. Really ugly. it's a it's, hideous. It's hideous, but very. <laughs> yeah. A lot of thought went into it. And the people yes. who designed it aren't necessarily. I have disagreements with their I'm taste. Talented. But they yeah. put a lot of effort into it. And money went into that for sure. But yeah, that's oh, where yeah. it's at, honestly. Yeah, I didn't even know that Jillian Michaels was a right wing grifter now, like an anti woke grifter. Until oh, everyone's a right wing grifter now. I Everyone didn't know she was a thing still. And right, like, and I'm like, wait, why like, does that name sound so familiar? And it's like, oh, it's the lady from the, the Biggest lady, Loser right? or whatever. Yeah, Biggest Loser, right? Well, yeah. Why? Why is she? Why are people I, getting political news from her? I, I just don't understand. <laughs> I had no idea who she was. I I just saw her from that uh, Anna Why I Left the Left video, but I had no idea food the podcast yeah, everyone was. i i the reason yeah. why i hate jillian michaels is actually very petty when i worked at blockbuster there was a wii game called the biggest loser and her face was on it with the other blonde guy i don't know his name and she had the most smuggest fucking face i'm like look at this piece of shit she thinks that she's just like this expert <laughs> on fucking uh weight loss <laughs> fuck off lady it was the look on her face <laughs> google that switch face. game <laughs> let me find the cover let me find the cover <laughs> I remember it rubbed me the wrong way for years. Didn't she have she had like workout videos first or something, right? Wasn't that how she got on the biggest loser? Oh, Mike, Mike doesn't like, her, like when, that, Mike, like Mike doesn't like when women rub him the wrong way. <laughs> true. <laughs> it is true. He does not. Okay, I found it. Let me pull it up really quick. Because he's uh, a misogynist. <laughs> yeah. Because no, he's, he's gay. That's the... <laughs> no. It's David. It is because I am a misogynist. Yeah. Okay. This one right here. Look at, goes. look at how smug she is. There's a like weed game. I didn't know this. If you don't lose weight, you're a fucking piece of shit and deserve to. Like, she's uh, just judging you. Oh my god. All right, Tucker Carlson and about Hillary Clinton in 2016. All right, over here. <laughs> <laughs> Real fun. Fox Real results. News 2016. Does it look like you're gonna have Hillary fun? Clinton's campaign. All right, we and get it. His neck is like photoshopped all fucked up. I don't know what it is. Looks like he could spin his no. head 360. Yeah, like, if, this case if bugged anything, me. If anything, I, I'd be more bugged by him because that's definitely a weird Photoshop. Actually, like, they Photoshop his face over someone yeah, else's body. Is what it looks like. in a strange way. Yeah. I actually think she's looking good on that cover. So, I think she looks fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if anything, that's, I think, you know what? I had no interest in this game before, but now I may check it out. <laughs> she looks pretty good to me. <laughs> Whatever yeah. floats your boat. Yes. I'm selling but, people uh, on her podcast now. I'm what's her podcast? What, what's a podcast about? Did she talk about, she must still talk about like. She interviews Matt Walsh. Losing weight and stuff, right? No, is it's it just, is it just, just politics? Yeah, I just. Really? Quick... Yeah. Okay, I don't know anything about so it. She's a right I winger. Just... Oh, that's not, but that isn't. But her avenue is like working out and stuff. Why would you not talk yeah, about what you what you know? Because mm -mm. you can say like, man, the left has gone so woke. You can't even say that it's good to lose weight. They'll say that. Nope, that's bad. Or something like there's a well, million they, different no, ways they, you can but, tie no, it. But there to. is a there is a lot of overlap with that stuff. Like that's why Alex Jones sells all those like enhancement pills and shit mm -hmm. like like there is a huge overlap with with that like. <laughs> If you were someone who like uh, is 
working out because you are in a position where you're out of shape and your life is shitty and you know you're not getting women or men or whatever whatever you're into you're one of those people who are looking for a scapegoat most likely and mm. they provide you one while also selling you uh, the magic pill to get back in shape like that's why there's so many like look at andrew tate like he's another great example of someone who's like a fitness guy he was an mma guy who decided to uh, get involved into politics because there's an overlap there when you're doing right-wing uh, media. Um, you know, I'm not saying all people who go to the gym and work out and do our fitness people are like that. But if you see that, that, you know, that, that niche customer base there, it's a lot of money to be made. Yeah. 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 It's an easy shift, I suppose. It's just how many, how many podcasts, how, how much time do people have on the right to listen to all these podcasts? <laughs> like they, they can't just be listening to all of them, right? Like there's got to be, I guess there's different s sects of like anti-woke people. Some of them are in the the Andrew Tate section. Some of them are in the Jillian Michaels section. Some of them are in the, I don't know, the Crowder section. Like it's just, I mean, are, are they just watching like one after another? Just <laughs> watching all well, these fucking shows, saying the same shit over and over again all day. Right. I mean, when your when your whole personality is based on grievance, you you, you listen to the you're, you you completely double down. Like this is their life. Like that's why they like if you I don't know if you ever noticed, but I don't know you you have noticed obviously. I was just using a turn of phrase, but this is why like oftentimes when you see like right wing posters like trying to make jokes. They refer to such inside baseball things that you're like, what do you? But they're trying to do it for like a broader audience because they just assume everyone's in their same bubble. They just assume everyone knows exactly what they're referring to, exactly what they're talking about, mm -hmm. because that's who their bubble, their bubble does know that stuff. Their bubble listens to the same shows all the time and knows exactly what the, but like, that's why they always have such weird like uh, their, their comedy never works. Their jokes never hit because they're always referring to things that 99% of people have no fucking clue what they're talking about. Um, you know, the, they're, the, 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 you know, the left, I guess, like if you're a leftist, you have that too. Like there are leftists obviously who watch this show and all the shows and everything, but the right is much more broad. Like a lot of right wingers, like from like Republican, like, you know, die in the wool Republicans to like far right people. They live that way, whereas, like, you know, your everyday Democrat, they actually don't pay attention to politics all that much at all. Like, they're not, like, like deep into the muck like, you know, your average Trump fan is. Like, someone who's voting That's for good. Kamala Harris is is less likely to be, like, a hardcore Kamala Harris fan than someone who's voting for Trump is to be, like, yeah. a hardcore Trump fan. Yeah, you know what it, shocks me, David? I don't know if weird. you've ever seen them. All those YouTube channels that are all just about you know battling the woke and and all that kind of stuff. All they do is just play a video game like Fortnite, and they're like fifteen minutes long. And those channels get like half a million views on each video, where it's just someone playing Fortnite being like, "The problem with video games today is just too many black people in them." I mean, uh, DEI and Bridge, and, and I like, haven't been able to bring channels... myself to watch any of those videos because they're it's, huge. It's just, like that, that seems it, it, the, the barrier is way yeah. lower than, than it like, reminds me so much of of when I. I, like when I are uh, during Gamergate that which is when I left uh my old job at at AMD working like working in video game marketing uh like that was that's when I let like sorry I was I was laid off the second time from the same place I'm like fuck this industry fuck like Gamergate was happening as I was like, like fuck everybody like fuck. <laughs> so I I had there's like a gap in like my gaming knowledge because I had covered that I had followed and covered gaming for like like my entire life and then from like when was it 20 2012 to like 2015 there's like a gap there where i just was not paying attention at all to gaming news or anything like i was playing games but i wasn't in like as into it as it was and anytime i see any of these woke shit it reminds me of like that gamer those gamer gate days right i fucking hate like the online gaming community oh, like the yeah what, like I'm, I'm reminded when i when i check the comment section sometimes when i see twitter and that and see that shit it's just like i I'm actually like there are there are times where I, I wish I, I didn't just cover politics because it can get really depressing. But then I'll look at the comment section on like a YouTube video about a video game and be like, oh my God, no, I don't want this. <laughs> this is worse. even worse. <laughs> this is worse. <laughs> Fuck that. I don't want this audience. So no. 
but it's just it's so depressing to see the way that people have been able to monetize um just being pieces of shit like yeah. being like oh my god this game is not led by a white straight male oh my fuck it it's woke like it's just what's wrong with your brains thankfully people that actually work in the industry are not like that mm -hmm. uh including like most journalists they're not that yeah, broken. The backlash is having an effect. There's major studios now that want to do focus groups specifically with like what they call heart, like core fans. And there are a lot of the ones who've been like really angry about DEI and wokeness and forced diversity and all that. And I was like, that doesn't speak to the, the majority of a fan base, though. Like, I know that those people no, seem really. It's, it's a small online. vocal. Like, yeah. Yeah, very vocal and very shared on algorithms, right? It's it's one of those things where like it's incendiary. It makes you click on it. You're like, oh yeah, I, I hate the black samurai too, because this isn't real Japanese history. Here's a real guy from Japan speaking out against it. And it's yeah, it's it's not most people and it doesn't actually impact sales or anything. Like they called Baldur's Gate three woke and that game fucking sold amazing and did amazing. Like the uh Silent Hill two is woke apparently too, and that game's gonna do amazing. like that know, one too. It's getting reviewed well. Didn't that come out before? It's a remake, right? Yeah, the, well, yeah, the, sorry, the, the, remake the, the remake is woke. The remake is woke because because they made the yeah. I don't know the one of the characters I guess are like a little larger or something. I don't know. Like, I, don't yeah, even, I, I don't read I just, enough I just, into I, it. To I, know, I want to get ahead of that story. Woke. That character specifically, if you play the game and maybe spoil. Don't warning. no spoilers. Yeah, I don't want to spoil yeah, the yeah, one. Uh, do spoilers. Right, I, won't, I, won't, I won't spoil the ending. But like that character, they they've gone through, and you learn this when you meet them in the very start of the game. They've gone through a lot of abuse. It's super fucked up to take that specific character and then try to like hypersexualize them and be like she's not sexy enough. Blah blah blah. Like when you learn her real story, it's dark even by the standards of like it goes way darker than anything you usually find in video games that's one of the things why at the time mm -hmm. it was shocking to learn how dark they went with that character story and it's supremely fucked up to like hypersexualize that specific character yeah but when you play you'll see but they still will no, they, they already did the the pronouns guy is, is making videos about oh it. okay it's but it's too sexual yeah. like the uh, gta 6 trailer i believe then they'll call for it to be banned like the uh, evangelicals. I think uh, Jackson Hickel was jump jumping on that bandwagon too. He's saying it was too sexual and needed to be banned. It's just very... Um... I'm just so sick of it. I, want, I hate that. You all want, I don't understand it. Did, is it too sexy or not sexy enough? Do we need more booby and titty skin or less booby and titty skin? More ass, less ass? Like, I can't <laughs> read your minds. Like, what? Both. All you weird, horny gooners, grumses. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's really annoying. I, I hate that. There's this incentive to shit out low effort rage bait content and it does so well. People eat that shit up. I hate it. I hate it so much. It's so ridiculous. I actually find like, thank God I've cultivated an audience where if I do a video that's uh, like really sad and negative, it usually does terrible. <laughs> like, yeah. People, which unfortunately is actually unfortunate when covering politics. Mm -hmm. But um, people want to be, uh, at least in my eyes, that they want to feel some hope. And they want to see if that things can be can get better and and you know mm -hmm. good things can happen. Uh, but yeah, rage bait generally does does very well. I I don't get it because I have no interest at all mm -hmm. in rage bait. Why do I want to be a why do I like want to be angry? Like why do I want to watch something where I'm going to get angry <laughs> or like right. where you're going to? This is why Twitter. Oh my God, it has done a number. Of, like I just. I cannot sit on Twitter the way I used to because it is so fucking depressing. Like the mm -hmm. the shit that gets viral and the the replies and everybody. I don't even like look at replies anymore. And oh, I, I feel oh, bad yeah. sometimes because I'm sure there are people that are good there, but I don't want to. I don't want to engage with anything. Anyone who's on Twitter is a bad person, including us. So <laughs> just don't look at the.